you'll be the life of the party. You cook cheese, baby. Hey folks, how you doing? Captain Mark here, the kid, Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. All right, this episode, what is it gonna be? Yes, big bluefin tuna. And what we catch him on? That bad boy right there. That's the Everglades 295cc. Where do you get yours? Right there again, islandyachtsalesnewyork.com. All right, check out the used inventory too. They got a ton of boats over there. You guys interested in getting into the 295cc, as you can see on all these episodes right now that we're fishing. And uh, we're loving it, all right? We're loving the 295cc from Everglades. Sick boat. Handles like a champ. Just can't say enough good things about it. But if you guys are interested in getting one, go over there and take a peek over at islandyachtsalesnewyork.com. Go over there and see them over in Lindenhurst. Go over and see Chet, Kathleen. They'll hook you up. Bottom line. Case of these men in the mood. All right, so let's get started here. What are we doing? Bluefin tuna fishing in shore, New York. What? That's impossible, right? Nah, it's not impossible, all right? That was us the other day right there. How you doing, ladies? What do we do? All right, we have on board this week Danny Hughes of D Hughes Photos on Instagram. All right, Danny reached out to me on Instagram and said, Kid, you got a chance to pop, sneak another guy on. I'm like, ah. Sure enough, one of our guys bailed that night. He reached out to Danny and said, Hey, bro, you want in? Seven o'clock at the ramp. Sure enough, he showed up, scuba gear, Jacu stole cameras. I'm like, eh? So what happens? This maniac jumps in the water with a Started tuna, a giant on. He goes in the water, starts filming this stuff, got some cool footage for us. So we're gonna segue that into the video as well. This is something unique though, right now. You're gonna see, I'm gonna obviously make the big screen of it, but you're gonna see right here we have the typical, I call it the DJ Arian setup, all right? The two is a long line and the mid line. And basically what I do is I do a tight one to the boat, almost like shark fishing the outside bait. Instead of being outside, I send it down like 60 feet, all right? So that's what I do. What we do here is now I put I put cameras everywhere, of course, on the boat. And what I want you to pay attention to is two baits at the same time get picked up, all right? This bait right here gets hit by an 85-inch giant, and the other fish right here is a 70-inch fish. Those are massive fish right there, all right? But what's unique is they weren't alone, obviously, because these two baits, when we're watching them, you can see them both simultaneously like do the move, like, oh shoot, I'm a bunker and I just see a monster coming at me. He does the old touche once and gets away with it. They both do it, and then you'll see them both that simultaneously get picked up and take off. Pretty cool footage to catch on film. You'll see clearly that these things both dodge the bullet, and then they both get caught by these bluefin. Either the same bluefin or another one that comes and grabs it. Alright, so this is pretty cool. Two fish at the same time being bit and tearing ass, all right? Now, we have to explain that broken rod that everybody saw on Instagram, all right? Get a lot of emails. What the hell happened? What the hell happened, all right? So, go to the source, right? If you notice, the rod that I had didn't break, but the rod that Club Soda Kenny had broke. So, it was like, hey, I said, let's go to the source right now. We'll go to Club Soda Kenny. He'll explain it to himself. Kid, that's pretty mean. Club Soda Kenny's taking you out to dinner, and you're going to bust his beanbag? Yeah, yeah, it is. Guy explained it though, right? The con has been emailing me, DM me, what the hell happened with that rod? All right, club show, explain what happened, pal. Well, we have a 2011, which I haven't tried yet. It's gonna be a question right now because I'm finishing a tuna video right now. A tuna? Explain what happened with the tuna. Right now you did it? Yes, yes. <laughs> so explain what happened with that fish when you broke the rod. See, so uh, I grabbed this bottle of wine and I. Uh, Say, you have I, to explain though. The con's asking. Bit. You are subject. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you got? What's your explanation? What yeah. happened? We are not doing this now. Yes, we are. What no, happened? We are not doing what happened? This. I refuse to participate in your shenanigans. What happened? What do you mean? What happened? Club show's wife right there. How you doing, ladies? <laughs> Mrs. Kid. She's hiding on me. What happened with that? Are what you happened? Out of your mind? No, go. <laughs> They're waiting for this. I'm waiting to hear this. No, you haven't. What happened with the broken rod? I'm not ready yet. We got to take two. <laughs> okay, go, go. All right, take two, go. No, you can't do it. What happened? I'm not ready yet. I haven't thought about it. <laughs> Just gonna keep doing this. Nice. 
What happened with the rod? It was a rod. Is that what it was? Yes, it was a rod. That's it? That was it. So it was a rod failure, not your failure. 100%. <laughs> okay, there you go. That's fine then. That's what you're going to tell the con. All right, there you go. Club to the kitty. That's his response to the snap rod. Talk about your fan club. You're going to stamp me in the jugular. I know Sharon is one. <laughs> How many fans you got? I think one. <laughs> no, you have at least three. Um, I, I'm married to one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my other one is probably my So daughter. you want to do an explanation of your uh, broken rod? First of all, it was a faulty rod, 100%. The captain should have had a swivel rod holder to make the rod. But if, it, if it's not a swivel, what do you do if it's not a swivel rod holder? And the, the interrogation should not be taking place after three of these <laughs> and two bottles of wine. But, be that as it may... Hi right, folks, I paid attention in school. When the rod's going this way, the math is not going to work. It's going the opposite way, even sideways, right? It's going to snap, all right? Apparently, clubs of the Kenny in school probably broke out, hid behind the gym and sniffed glue. Like I picked the wrong week to quit sniffing glue. <laughs> all right, so let's go to Club of the Kenny right now on the double hookup. What happens? Scary monsters. So we got them last time. Oh, right here, right here, right here. Fish on. We got another one on. Now he's got this. Rod broke. Rod broke. Rod broke. I'm hooked up, I'm hooked up. Yeah. Let me turn the Andy, take this, I'll get the boat. Okay. We're hooked up here. Get up. Not good with this. Got it. Take the take the leech off and I'm going forward. Alright, we're both off the bow mark. We're good. I, I gotta know. deal with this rod. I gotta get this rod. Yeah, I got that. I got that. Alright, tell me where you want me. I'll get you. I'll get you. Yeah, welcome to the shit show. No, I don't. Uh, I, I think we can literally no bullshit. No, we can't. No, we're all right. No. Straight out. He's that's the last thing you want to do. Mrs. Kid's riding the money right there. You do not put it in the rod holder. You have a massive blue vent tuner on there. You think it's going to play nice? Club Soda Kenny, as much as he screwed up that hook set, what? he does a very good job fighting that fish using the techniques that you'll see ahead. All right? So do not put it in the rod holder. Andy, again, must have been sniffing a little bit of glue. No, it's backwards, Andy. It's fine. Andy, look at your fish, alright? Let's get your fish right. Over my head. It's gonna come about a little right here, guys. Kenny, you're shit. You're fucked, bro. I don't know what to tell you. No, 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 Mark. Don't pull me, fish. Do not give me that till I get the harness on. I don't know, Andy. Get under him. Hey guys. Okay, I know. Yeah, I got it. Andy, listen. Under your leash. Kenny, you gotta get under him. Hey, he's gotta get under you. Oh, you did? Kenny's still here. Gotta get under you. Alright, go on. Kenny. Andy, pay attention. Hey, Kenny. Uh, I'm gonna have uh, a... Okay, wrap it around. Make sure you gotta do it. Andy, wrap it around. I don't know what to 
I'll tell you. Oh, I'll get a picture of that. The fuck is <laughs> Andy, I'm gonna get you back in the right. I mean, Kenny's. No, we can. <laughs> like catching a tuna with a Budweiser can <laughs> back when I was five. Oh, oh, you're turning into. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. I got two <laughs> fish doing two different things, Andy. I want you in the back of the boat. I, I... <laughs> oh, you can't make this shot. What a <laughs> disaster. It's gotta be on Velcro. <laughs> this, here. This piece. I, I, I understand. There's no, there's no Velcro. <laughs> Give me that back. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of your mind if you think you're gonna do that. Just leave it on, Kenny. Leave the fuck. Just leave it in the rod. Shut the fuck up! There's no fing rod, bro. Andy, shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Mark. Hey, Mark. Yeah, I'm here. Why don't you put the shark on the yeah, I'm gonna. I don't have much line out. <laughs> Dan, in the right front seat, lift up, there's a, there's a mesh bag if we can pull that free free back here. All right, folks, thank goodness we have uh, Danny on the boat right now. We got him running around like a one on paper hanger. Andy's screaming every two seconds, help me with the gimbal. I'm wearing the old A-Team orange right now, just to give a little solidarity with uh, Dan's lifeguard shirt. All right, that's the way I roll. All right, so thanks to Dan for coming on there, because we had him really, he was running around like a maniac, trying to get gears and gaffs and darts and all this other stuff. And I'm trying to run the boat, do everything myself. It's crazy, you know, usually you only have one fish on. Let's keep going. Is that the harpoon? Yes, yeah, sir. What are you doing, Andy? Doing all right. Kenny, you want to put it in low gear? Make your life easier? I'm getting line. He's going up front, though. All right, you got to move with him, kid. Hey, my God, what happened? Um, I really don't know what happened. <laughs> But it's this mono and mono. It's me that's versus. That's not supposed to happen, right? <laughs> this part of the year. Oh, you want to get the right rig float off, kid? <laughs> ready? He, Kenny's the guy who's got to be. He's you got to move out of his way. Man, he's going under me. You keep moving, keep Kenny, moving. Why do you make it look so difficult? <laughs> keep moving, Kenny. <laughs> keep I gotta get past you. I love the instruction. Once I get past you, I'm good. <laughs> Here's my button. Right there, baby. Back up. Roger that. Andy, I'm going to give a little reverse. Good, good. This is crazy. Two rides on, one of them just snapped the rod right out of the gates. I got my uh, my boy Dan Hughes out on the boat with us, and he is now stuck in the mayhem. He's doing a little filming with us, and uh, this is crazy. I don't have to tell you guys. This is interesting stuff, good stuff. Andy's on a big one. Club Show's on a big one. What we did is, uh, as we're heading out, to where everybody else is, I passed a bunch of pods. Not a bunch of pods, but some active bunker. I'm like, this is where we're gonna live. Didn't mark any fish, but we saw the bait, and obviously bait brings fish. Oh, let's go look at that. I think you got way too big fish in here. I don't know though, I mean. Going to the bow. No, you're going to go to the bow. You guys just react to each other. Yep, That's we're it. good. <laughs> Flip, so talk to me, kid. Where you want me? Just point. Where you want me? Oh, I can't believe. Yeah, what do you think about that, kid? On a real day offshore. <laughs> Love the preacher. <laughs> Go. Nice, right, can you get his rod back? Yeah! Oh! 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 
that line back though. Yeah. That's good. Shit. That's not good. You want to go on to me? Oh, uh, yeah. This guy's gonna come up. You probably should have cut that fish off. You get all that line back. But you know what? Until I get mine in. Oh. I gotta look it. Oh my gosh, look at that godly noise. It's kind of stuff. Back up the drag a little bit. Going up and over the Nope, I'm going up and over the I'm going to the bow. No, you're going to go to the bow. Yep, we're good. He's right here in front. Can you spin me a little bit? Where you want me? Just point. Mark, spin me back. My life would be easy if I had a pull. That would be good. Back under. Lost the fun. Who's got color there? You? What about Jay, Davy Jones, whatever it is? Oh, okay. Oh shit. I gotta go backwards can I guess. No, you're good. Watch your face, Kenny, when that happens. Yeah, and usually I get one fish at a time. This is not really exactly what I want, but okay. How's your line look, Ken? Bad, right? Some of it's Just big. try to keep it away from that rock. Oh, fuck! Hey, hey, Ken! Get up! Uh, Ken's on one side. You both fish are doing opposite things, so I can't deal with you guys. All right. No, but I know. Hopefully, it's clearly smaller. Grab it. See it right here. Right here. Right here. All right, relax, Ken. Look at that. Relax. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh my. Mr. Dog. God. Mark, you okay? Yeah, we're working on that. I don't know. What do you think, Mark? What do you? I don't know. Let's see. I won. Andy. I'm worried about my fish being too big. Andy, you're. <laughs> Keep him on the line, let me jump in with him if he's too big. He's not too big, Mark, he's good. Take okay. that fish. Alright. He's gonna spin. Take the fish. Watch out, man. Let's go. He's done, he's come. Alright, you think I can get him? He's definitely. Here he comes, right? One more circle. Nail that fish, boys. 
Monk, you gotta hit him now. You believe this? Hit him before I lose this fucker. Alright, let's get a gift. Here, here. Started. Oh, look at that blood. Get a gift in his mouth. I will, I will. I'll take this. Get a gift in his mouth. I will. Oh. <laughs> All right, folks, I missed those two gaffes on purpose, all right? Yeah. I felt a little bad because Kenny broke the rod. He was a toolbox there. Andy screamed all day. He gave us all the headaches. So I said, let me do something wrong. So I faked it. You faked it? You blew it. <laughs> okay, so I didn't fake it. I screwed up. That was horrendous gaff work right there. Usually not bad at it, but that was ugly. Got to admit it. Kid, blew it. Two strikes, but the third strike, I was in. But then again, when I launched that door through his freaking guilt plate like that, his lights were starting to dim like this. Yes, there's my mooch. Let's keep going. Oh, I saw that many times. All right, give me a hand for now. Open this tuna door. Are uh, you, you what? Good. You're pretty good. Put this in the boat. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> nice Way to go. Are you kidding me? All right, do you want to dive in the water with Andy's fish? Yeah. All right, Andy, Andy just keep your fish. Now. We're going to get rid of you. Are you gonna get rid of this thing? No, no, we're keeping oh. this. We're getting rid of his. No, no, I went down with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, this is so Penny, cool. Can you keep it alongside? Can I jump in? Yeah, sure. He goes, Can I jump in? I says, Yeah, the thing's bleeding out. The sharks have weird great whites and shore, thrushes and shore, monstrous. But I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking of my son. I'm thinking, 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 I'm but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. And there you go. Boom. He's in the water. This is how you do it on the preacher. We don't need no stinking rods. We got Jacques Cousteau out in the water there. Yeah? All right, guys, we're just waiting for this fish to chill out just a little bit, and then you're going to see me reach over. And basically what I do is I have a seatbelt cutter I fugazi and put it on the pole, and I just use a seatbelt cutter to cut the mono right at the hook, and this thing just takes off like a bullet. Pretty cool release. If 
five bunker in his belly. Boom. That's a big, big Very nice, Kenny. Oh my goodness. I'll throw it on this table. Fresh off the boat like this. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. On behalf of Mr. Kid and myself, hope you enjoyed this episode. Consider subscribing, hit the like button. All right? Don't be lazy, hit the like button or I'll come and find you, right? I'll find yes. Them. I'll find them. I was a homicide detective, I find everybody. Except oh, anything that's being lost in the house. You can't find anything in the house. Yeah, this, house is, this house is a mess. This Ugh. mess is a house. Whatever. Uh. <laughs> I'm out of here. All right, go on, beat it. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna get you out of here, ready? All right, this thing's loaded. All right, thanks for watching Kiko Cheese Outdoors again. Uh, special thanks to Danny Hughes, D. Hughes Photos. Check him out on Instagram, all right? The guy does some uh, ninja work on the water, all right? I don't like these. Got a bunch of blackfish uh, videos coming up. Hold on, I gotta say hello to this side. Yeah, this is a little puffed in, no doubt about that. I have the uh, stuff on this here, but the kid kind of digs the pumpkin, the freaking shipyard pumpkin with the stuff on it. What am I gonna do? Huh? I'm who I am, whatever, get over it, I'm secure in it, there's uh, the nature in it, right Jake? I know. Alright, but that's it, this is this episode. Stay blessed to all you guys. May the grace of God shine upon you and your family. Stay in this favor, will you? Alright, guess I dish by the mood. Thanks for watching Kiko Cheese Outdoors. God bless America. As Jimmy Levy would say. This is a war on religion. This is a war on the children. They get it go with the sickness. This is a war. This is a war. This is a war on religion. This is a war on the people. God bless America. Shake it. Till next time. Kick or Jesus out. Support your police. Support your military. Support everybody. Support America. That's who we are. Kick or Jesus. Shake it. We're out of here.